A synovial joint is where two or more bones meet. Synovial joints allow for movement. We need to understand two different types of synovial joint, and these are hinge joints and ball and socket joints. Hinge joints allow only backward and forward motion, just like a hinge on a door. There are two hinge joints we need to know, and these are the knee and the elbow. If we think about throwing a javelin, just before the release, the elbow bends and then straightens, so the hinge joint is really important in performing this action. We also need to know the names of the bones which meet at each hinge joint, and these are known as the articulating bones. At the elbow joint, the articulating bones are the humerus, which is the upper arm, and the ulna and the radius, which are the bones of the lower arm. At the knee, the articulating bones are the femur, which is the bone of the upper leg, and the tibia, which is one of the bones of the lower leg. Ball and socket joints are formed when a long bone fits into a cup-shaped hole, allowing a wide range of different movements. There are two ball and socket joints in the body, the shoulder joint and the hip joint. If we think about bowling a ball in cricket or serving in tennis, the shoulder allows the arm to move right round in order to perform these actions. This is all down to the movement allowed by the ball and socket joint. Again, we need to know the articulating bones that make up the ball and socket joints. The shoulder joint is where the humerus and scapula meet, whereas the articulating bones at the hip are the pelvis and the femur. There are three other components that make up each joint. These are ligaments, tendons and cartilage. We don't need to know a great deal about these components, but we do need to know what they do. Ligaments are a fibrous tissue that join bones to bones. A tendon is a fibrous tissue that joins muscles to bones. And cartilage is a rubber-like padding that acts as a shock absorber to protect joints. Each of these components can become damaged through sport, and this can cause a long recovery period for performers. Ligaments can sprain or tear. Tendons can become inflamed and cartilage can gradually wear away. We'll cover sports injuries in more detail in a later topic.